Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm really excited to be sharing with you the second update for my Project Pan Roulette, which is hashtag Roulette Pan Collab here on YouTube and over on Instagram as well. This is a collaboration Project Pan that my friend Alexi and I started several years back and it's such a fun project to be participating in and I'm really proud of this project and this massive collaboration that it has become. It is so, so much fun. If you're not familiar with this project, we basically just randomize prompts and pull products from our collection and set whatever goal you so choose on those products based on the prompts. And the prompts were all created by the community here. They're all your own choices for the prompts and that's what's so cool. So we have a hundred categories we can select from and then you just get to have some fun and pull from your collection for products that you might not otherwise reach for in other project pans. So I love this project and I really hope that you enjoy today's update. Before we get into it, I do just want to say you have to go and check out the co-creator of this project pan, which is my friend Alexi. I talk about her a lot on my channel because she really does inspire me when it comes to project panning. And you have to just go check out the progress that she's made over the past couple months through this project as well. So definitely go check her out if you're not familiar with it. But I am kind of on a little bit of a time crunch today, so I'm going to try to be pretty quick with my update. I know that that's not very common for me. I'm very rambly and I take a long time to kind of share with you all of my insights and stuff like that on the products, but we're going to be a little bit more brief today. I'm just taking a quick break from work and filming this the day before it needs to go up. So I want to be very fast, but I am excited about a lot of the progress that I've made. So let's hop on into all of that progress. So the first product I want to share with you is a product that I selected for the prompt, a discontinued product. It is the ColourPop Matte X Lippy Sticks in the shade She Bad. I had this in this project pan in the past, like in a different round, and I brought it back for this round because this is something that has been long discontinued and in my collection for such a long time. I actually have this categorized in my collection as a cream blush and that's how I've used it pretty much exclusively through this project. I've tried to put it on as a lipstick a handful of times and I'm not a big fan because it's a very, very light, almost concealer lips kind of nude on myself. And my goal with this is to finish it up in this project and I am getting really close to that goal. I only have the tiniest little nub here of product. As you can see, it's pretty much blush on this side and then there's only a little bit left here. I am going to actually decant it into some kind of like an old compact or something. I'm gonna try to find something to put it into tonight and just turn it into like a compact of cream blush so that um, I can share with you what that's looking like. And then in my next update, we can kind of compare the compact as opposed to the pencil because, or the bullet, because it's so, so close now. I'm really happy with this. I am wearing it today. It's the only blush that I'm wearing. I do have some like bronzer on top, but I'm only wearing this as my blush and it is a beautiful color as you can see. So sorry about the street noise. It's just, pretty much inevitable around here. But uh, yeah, I really enjoy the way that this looks and functions on my complexion. I just haven't really wanted to even try to reach for it as a lipstick because I'm never ever impressed with it. But I'm super happy with the progress that I've been able to make. And I imagine I should be able to actually finish it up in its entirety by the end of this project for sure. Quite possibly by the next update, but we'll see what's really inside of this bullet once I kind of dig through it, you know? Because I, I really want to use up like every last possible usable drop as much as I have other actual cream bl blushes in my collection. I really just want to use it up in its entirety and that was not concise at all. That was quite rambly, so we're gonna have to do the rest of these a little bit more quickly. The next product that I have here is from the category a product from a controversial brand. And for that, I chose my Too Faced Hangover X Primer. This is a beautiful hydrating primer, but Too Faced definitely has had many controversies, controversies throughout the past few years. My goal with this is not to like use it up or anything like that because it was pretty much unused when I first brought it into this project pan, even though I've had it for several years at this point. My goal is to reach for it 25 times. Previous to today's update, I had reached for it six. I've now reached for an additional nine times, bringing me to a total of 15 uses. So I see myself definitely being able to reach that goal by my next update, especially as it's very cold here now and very, very much wintry. I can definitely reach for this 
very frequently. So when I kicked off this project, as I said, it was virtually brand new. So it was just all the way up here. And now I'm down to about this point. I have let this sit on my desk for a couple hours at this point, And I'm pretty sure that's kind of where it's settling in. So not too much movement from my last update, but I have made a decent amount of progress on it through this project so far. And that's because I sometimes use it as a primer all over my face and even down my neck. And then other times I mix it in with foundations to make them a little bit more hydrating and a little bit of a lighter coverage as well. And I have been really enjoying reaching for this as it is cooler, but I haven't found that I love this product. Like I used to feel like I love this product and I just don't have that feeling towards it anymore, but I will definitely get use out of it since I have it and I'll definitely be able to reach for it that final 10 more times to reach my goal for this project pan as well. My next focus product comes from the category, a brand that you no longer support or purchase from. It's something along those lines. And for that, I selected one of my three Physicians Formula products that I still have in my collection. And I selected the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. This is actually a product that I have repurchased. So this is like the second one of these that I have had in my collection. I used one up in its entirety in the past and I adored it. And I really am enjoying working on this again this time, but it's not something I will really, I don't really wanna like promote or encourage it on my channel. And I definitely won't be repurchasing it in the future. I just feel a little bit weird about Physicians Formula. They, uh, they did some stuff that I ch choose to no longer support as the prompt suggests. And my goal with this is not really like any sort of concrete goal. I already had pan on it when I rolled it into this project. So I just kind of wanted to monitor the progress and keep reaching for it as it is something that I'm trying to, or would like to work out of my collection in um, hopefully 2022, we'll see. So I've just been working on expanding the pan and making this look a little bit more loved. And I'm feeling like I've definitely been able to do that. In fact, you can see where the pan like originally was because it has a little bit of buildup from like swirling my brush through here. And then there's like a ring around it that's basically clean of like where the pan has now kind of expanded to. But I'll share with you comparisons so you can see it throughout this project pan. And even though I don't have like a set goal with this, I think I'm just gonna reach for this through the entirety of this project and just watch that pan expand because I've been really enjoying reaching for it. It's the bronzer that I'm wearing today. I think that it's absolutely beautiful. It offers a gorgeous natural kind of bronze. I do have a little bit of another product on top of it as well, um, just to give it a little bit more of a sheen, but I love wearing this on its own or in conjunction with other products. Like I'm just, I'm gonna talk about it very shortly here. And I just, I, I do really love it and it's, pains me to say, like to talk about it so highly, but then to tell you I don't recommend it, but it is a great product. I'm gonna use it seeing as I have it in my collection, but I don't really want to promote the brand, even though I know I've spoken so, so highly of it. My next focus product is for the prompt, a warm toned item. I could have gone with any number of items from my collection, and I decided to go for this Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. This was a limited edition kind of holiday release. It's such a beautiful warm toned golden kind of, bron uh, not bronzer, highlighter that I'm really happy to have in my collection. I actually was given this from a friend who decluttered it. And so I really, really am thankful to have it in my collection because it's very beautiful. Now I'm not the biggest highlighter wearer these days. I am wearing it today and it definitely is blingy. Like there is a lot, a lot of reflection on my skin from this product. I'm wearing it on my inner corners and on like the inner portion of my lid as well today. And I really do enjoy it. My goal with it is to hit pan on it. And surprisingly, because I'm working on other highlighters as well in my 30 by 30 project pan, I've actually already done that. I have the tiniest teensiest little bit of pan that I actually hit today, right in the very, very center right there. Because oftentimes I use this as an inner corner highlight or as a brow bone highlight. I'm using a very small eyeshadow brush and I always kind of dip it right into the center of the pan. And then when I use this as a highlighter on my face, I use the um, Real Techniques setting brush, which is also quite tapered. So I felt like it just ended up being able to really target into that one spot of the pan. I did have a lot of wear on it previous to rolling it into this project. And obviously that's like the teeniest, my, most minute little bit of pan that has ever existed on this planet. 
but I have decided I'm gonna roll it out of this project pan um, just for now. I'm ready. I did technically reach that goal. And seeing as there's two months left in this project, it would be nice to be able to make some progress on something else in my collection that maybe hasn't seen as much love in the past like months or years even. Like this is something that I do find myself reaching for relatively frequently because it is so impactful and so beautiful. But there are other things that definitely have been neglected. So I'd like to leave the second half of this project to work on something else. If, because there's pan, even though it's bitty, there is still pan. So we're gonna be replacing this with a new roll-in later after we talk about the remaining products in this project pan. My fifth item was for the prompt, something you're looking forward to using frequently. And for that, I could have chosen any number of products as well. I selected the Veska Lip Oil in the shade um, Ginger Lily. This product didn't really look that well loved when I rolled it into this project pan. It looked like virtually unused through the tube. And today you're gonna be like, were you eating this? Like, how did you do this in a matter of two months? This is what it's looking like now. I promise you, I've not been overusing this product in any way. I've just been feeling like so addicted to reaching for this. I keep it by my desk when I'm working. I'll just throw it onto my lips, especially because it is cooler now. I have been finding I want to have moisture on my lips like all, all the time. And instead of using a lip balm, I've just been reaching for this through my work day and it is basically gone. And I'm still enjoying reaching for it frequently. So I am gonna keep it in the project pan. I don't wanna roll it out yet. I imagine by my next update, I might be able to have this empty based on how much I've been able to use it over the last like few months. However, I am planning on taking out the stopper as soon as I feel comfortable, like as soon as this doe foot is completely dry and I cannot reach this product down at the bottom, I'll pull out the stopper, but I'm really, really trying to avoid doing that too soon because it ends up being so messy and then I don't wanna reach for the product. So I wanna ensure that it's, it's time, it's the right time. This actually is something I might be able to finish off by the end of 2021. And that was not something I would have ever anticipated because I actually received this in PR in like January or February of this year. So it's newer in my collection than many other lip glosses that I have. And I'm shocked, but it's really, really nice. I am wearing it today just on top of a darker lipstick just to give it a little bit of moisture, but you can't see the color or differentiate it from the lipstick that I'm wearing. But it's just been such a treat for, to reach for and I'm loving it. I'm really, really loving it. My sixth and final current focus product was selected for the prompt something brown. So it could be the packaging, it could be the product inside. I selected one of the pans from my e.l.f. illuminating palette. This was something that I got as a gift with purchase. And now I have, I've noticed that e.l.f. actually sells this with like a clear cover nowadays, but it, I believe it's still the exact same product. And what I have been working on is the fourth pan right here. My goal is to hit pan on it and I've not yet done that, but I definitely am getting close, I imagine, because there's a serious, serious dip, like here towards the center portion of the pan. I don't know how, but I've somehow like concentrated my brush more there. So even in my last update, I was saying that I could see a serious dip happening. Well, it's definitely expanded. I'm wearing this today on top of the um, butter bronzer and on top of the highlighter and blush. It's kind of like the finishing cheek product that I have been using quite a lot to kind of like blend and diffuse and bring everything together and offer a little bit of sheen because it does have definitely a really beautiful finish to it. And overall, I've been seriously loving reaching for this product very frequently. I'm surprised I've not yet hit pan on it, but I imagine that if I keep using it at the volume that I have been, like over the past few months, I've reached for it a heck of a lot. I will definitely have pan on it by the finale of this project, no doubt about it. I must be super, super, super close at this point. But now that we've talked about all of my current focus products and I have decided that I'm going to be rolling out the Amrezy highlighter, we're gonna roll something new into this project pan. So I just want to pull up the Pretty Random app and select a number between one and 100. 
I don't want to replicate any of the prompts that I have had in the past. So I'll let you know if it's a number that I've already pulled and then we'll re-roll again. So I have the pretty random app up here and the, it's dirty, sorry. And we're just gonna pull one more new product focus. So the number that I selected is number 39. Let me just double check that I haven't pulled that. And if I haven't yet, then I'll be right back to share with you the product that I selected for it. So prompt number 39 is not one that I've had yet. And that prompt is a product that is neon or a colorful shade. So basically anything that's colorful or bright. And I was immediately thinking I wanted to have a colorful eyeshadow. Obviously that's what is kind of my favorite category of makeup. And I do have some neons in my collection. But as I'm wrapping up my pan, those eyeshadows, I don't really want to put any more eyeshadow focuses on myself. And yet I've selected a liquid shadow because I can use it as a topper and in tandem with what I'm already working on. And I feel like it's a little bit of fun for the holidays. I don't know. Am I getting myself in too deep? Quite possibly. Am I overthinking it? Most definitely. So what I selected is the Elf and J Kissa Suki to my heart eyeshadow topper duo. I'm going to work on the shade I'm Pup Set because it's the colorful item in here. And this is like a neon chartreuse lime green kind of color with tons of dimensional shimmer through it. It is meant to be a topper. So I find I can't wear it like a full on impact like that on my lids because it ends up just creasing. But more so I can just wear it as a slight wash of kind of like a green gold color with that dimensional shimmer in it. And it is really pretty, but it isn't something that I oftentimes reach for because it can be a little bit um, difficult sometimes. It's not the most intuitive product for me personally, because when I think of liquid shadows, I can usually just like pile them on and go full on impact. But this takes a little bit more precision a little bit more of a light hand, which I don't often have. So it's something that I just don't find myself reaching for, but I'd like to reach for it over this holiday season and in the coming months. So I'm gonna set myself a usage goal on it. I would like to reach for it, I'm gonna say 10 times. That's not like a massive goal by any means, but that is 10 more times than I may be able to reach for it in the next two months. And that feels definitely attainable to me, like five times per month in the coming two months. That feels good. And I'll probably reach for this over the holidays as well, but I'm not gonna count that towards my uses. I'm just going to use the more colorful shade out of the two. So 10 uses on this by the end of this project definitely seems attainable to me. I'm really excited to reach for it and to have a little bit more glitz and glam for the upcoming next two months. With this new product in the Roundup, I'm feeling really happy about the kind of types of products that I'm focusing on in this project pan. I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed with project panning before I began this round, but I'm really happy, really, really happy with what I've selected and the progress that I've been able to make. And I'm not feeling as overwhelmed as I kind of was anticipating I would feel going into this project pan. And that's not something that I had shared on my channel, but I was feeling like I was in too deep with too many products that I was focusing on. But as you can see, I've been able to make really great progress on all the items that I have selected. And that's just because I really am excited about all the products I'm focusing on in this round. So really, really looking forward to seeing how much progress I can make in the coming month. And yeah, that's everything. Be sure to check out the playlist, which will be linked in the end cards momentarily, as well as down in the description box of today's video. Be sure to check out this project over on Instagram with the hashtag RoulettePanCollab. And most definitely be sure to check out the co-creator of this project pan, Alexi. All that information will be in the end card and in the description box of today's video. But thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.